Hello everybody, my name is Kodemon, welcome back from the video of NHL 22 franchise mode. We're going to continue this series. In the last video, we went ahead and simulated all the way until the trade deadline, our uh, fifth season. And uh, we did pretty well. We did exactly how I expected us to be doing. With a brand new team, of course, brand new teammates that we added to our roster. We are a stud team. I mean, with the addition of Liney, Marner, Kuznetsov and Rantanen. We are basically unstoppable and there's also Chitron we added to the team on top of all these prospects and Lazarev is doing his brand new, his debut uh, year. So yeah, we're doing pretty good. I've already pre-looked for the trade deadline what we had and as an option. Not really in terms of the other teams, but for us, for uh, trade bait wise, we don't really have a whole lot. Uh, we don't have any types of players really that have a high value. That I would, we would want to trade. I mean, the only one I thought of was probably Middlestat or Larkin. I would probably go for Larkin uh, because he's got uh, a little bit higher value. So we could probably trade for a better player than if it was for Middlestat. Other than that, nobody else has really good value. Uh, I really don't see anybody else in any other lineups having good value. So we can't really trade for anybody important. Uh, we could try and see. So uh, Rangers, where are they at? They're definitely going to make the playoffs. In my, uh, in my opinion, they're probably going to make the playoffs. They're still in the race for it, but I feel like they're doing fine as it is. They are, are in the weakest uh, division. So that's unfortunate for us for that uh, particular thing. So... I think we're going to end up doing is we're going to look really quick at the uh, player search. We're going to do player search and we're going to look what we have as an option. So the only upgrade we will ha have to do is uh, go for is literally in the 90s, boys. We do have some options. Kaprizov, Kachuk, but we need to go for a center, right? So uh, there we go. Pedersen, Rossi. There's some players we could go for right here. Like trade uh, Larkin for one of these guys. Uh, Kuznetsov, we already have him. This is one of our centermans. We do have Rossi right here. Seems like an interesting one. I mean, Ishair is already... is basically done with his uh, growth, but uh, uh, for now at least. He's 90 overall, but two way forward. We don't want that on our team. Uh, Rossi is a playmaker though, so he would be interesting to have. He's, he keeps growing anyways. We uh, also have uh, Shirelli. But Shirelli is uh, done growing. He's a top six as well. So not really interesting. We do have Eklan. But uh, Eklan would be not really be an upgrade. And it would be a two with forward. We don't want that. Brand Le uh, Lambert, boys. He, he could be definitely a good option as well. So we got multiple good options. The problem is uh, we, we want to go for something that's definitely higher than what we already have. So I think I'm probably going to try. And go for Rossi. That's the only option I've got. Uh, I'm going to try and trade for Rossi, boys. Now, if I can't get Rossi, that's unfortunate a little bit. All right. So, if I can't get Rossi, uh, I can't really get anything. Um, let me try. I don't think they're not going to want middle stat. Middle stat doesn't have a high enough value. So, we're going to have to get rid of Larkin if, that, uh, if we want to have Rossi. And we've got some draft picks in here. But I don't think there's a whole lot that we're going to be able to give them. Uh, I'm willing to give them maybe a rookie or something. Like one of those top sixes and stuff. So maybe the medium top four right here. Uh, Head Sullivan. Or actually uh, Kato. I could give Kato and Tan. And uh, let's see if that's going to go through straight away. Larkin. Uh, the two prospects. Uh, Kato and Tan. Top fours. Uh, for Rossi. Let's see if that's going to go through. Not exactly, so we're not far behind, I guess. Maybe a little bit more uh, would be the, the, doing the trick, I guess. Uh, we would have to give them a draft pick. I got an extra fourth round. Let me use it. Let me use my extra fourth round pick. Let's see if that's going to work. Not actually, okay. So a third round pick. I'm willing to give up the third, boys. I'm not going for... I don't want to go for a second. I, I do not want to trade away my second, so... Yeah, that's um, it's a risky move, boys. It's definitely a risky move. I'm willing to give up uh, Sullivan. Willing to give up Sullivan, but it would be Sullivan and Kato, not uh, not Tan as well, you know? Yeah, no, that's not going to happen. All right, so, yeah, we don't... There's no trades we can really do. 
Uh, no real trades we can really do and I'm not gonna just trade away for a random player and stuff. It's just not gonna happen. I'm not interested in that whatsoever. Uh, unless there is some literally something that um, I, I could get in the 85s or something. Because I've got other players that I can trade but they're really low in value. Like we're talking about value that is super low. So value that I would have to give a lot. I mean, there's Brendan Ross right here, but uh, Brian Ross, but I, I don't want him. The, even he has a little bit too much of a high value, boys. Yeah, the value is a bit too high up for everyone. I don't have anybody that I can trade away. Like Olufsen, like look at that. His value is all the way down. So I don't, there's nobody I can trade for. Literally nobody. So we're just gonna, we're not gonna make any trades to the uh, in this year. Uh, we're not gonna make any trades. We're just gonna keep it going. Uh, I don't care uh, really. Uh, I think my team is good as it is. We don't need to change it, modify them whatsoever. We're going to be fine, boys. So that's two regulation losses in a row here. Kind of get worried. I don't know what's going on. Is uh, Do we have an injury? I think we have an injury, right? We have three in, uh, regulation losses in a row right here. This is not normal. We don't have any injuries. So I don't know why we're starting to play bad all of a sudden. What just happened, boys? What just happened right there? Okay. The Boston Bruins, please tell me we're going to beat them. Keep the ter current trade block. Uh, continue simming. Please tell me we're going to beat the Boston Bruins. They're a terrible team, so we should be able There we go. Yeah, we defeated them. Okay. I was about to say, that's a terrible start to the simulation here. Three losses in a row. What the hell? Okay, let's go see. The we're past the trade deadline. We're going to go see what types of trades happen in here. Uh, there's a sign that uh, happened, but nothing crazy. Drew Dowdy, all the way, uh, right away, uh, went to Boston. Okay. So, with the Boston getting some veterans. And uh, Ryan Strom going to Chicago. Ryan O'Reilly going to Chicago as well. Okay. Uh, Chicago getting uh, some uh, some people. They're loading up. Uh, Malkin got traded away, boys. So, Malkin is now in uh, New Jersey. I guess he was in Detroit before. And now he's in New Jersey, boys. He got traded away for a first round pick. Pretty good for a Detroit right there. So, uh, anything else? I don't see anything else. Lindholm ended up uh, going to Florida. So, he got in, uh, traded once more. Ovechkin, just like Crosby, is not going to end his career with his original team, I guess. At 41, 40, 41 slash... At 40 slash 41 years of age... Uh, Ovechkin should have ended his career. It was right there, man. He was doing great as well. Well, I guess Minnesota, that's a great addition for them. They've got the uh, their grade 8 on their team. Uh, so Ovechkin going to uh, Minnesota, boys. That's an interesting uh, thing for uh, uh, Washington to do. I guess they were... They're trying to now to get rid. Just like Pittsburgh, they're trying to uh, do a rebuild, probably. That's kind of weird, though, getting rid of Ovechkin like that. And Lenda Scott going to Vancouver. So lots of big trades, actually. Uh, Bergeron, which was uh, playing for Boston, is now going for uh, Tampa Bay. So uh, everybody getting rid of their big-time veterans. Very interesting, indeed. Nicholas Backstrom, boys, going to Tampa Bay as well. So Tampa Bay got themselves two centermen, Backstrom and Bergeron. They're loading big time. They're loading up big time. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, we don't have anything else. That's a, lot of, that's a lot of trades. I'm kind of intrigued uh, though. I want to see, uh, take a look at Minnesota because we do know that now they have uh, Ovechkin. He's playing on the second line now. He's an 84 overall. Yeah, he, he is dropping fast. He still got 42 goals. That's what I don't understand is he's still producing like a maniac and they got rid of him anyways. Okay. Well, they, they have a really good team now. Rossi, Kaprasov. Like Ovechkin is on a good uh, on a, a good team, boys. He's gonna be happy about that. All right. Well, that's pretty much the trades, I guess. And now we got a little bit of a break before the next uh, game, which is against the Capitals. The Capitals now without Ovechkin, uh, they ended up losing against us. Not a surprise, boys. Oh, we actually are losing quite a lot right here at the end. Seems like EA is trying to screw us over, boys, a little bit. Yeah. Seems like EA might be trying to screw us over. We're doing way too good for their li uh, for the uh, producers, li for the developers liking, I guess. What the hell? 
Yeah, we, we lost a lot of games right there. I don't know what happened. That was pretty bad. Can we win a game? Okay. All right. So our last 10 games, four and six somehow. I don't know what happened, boys. How did we end up screwing so badly? Doing so bad? Um, that's kind of weird. And it all started before the trade deadline, so there's no excuse here. I don't know what uh, what happened. I don't, uh, how do we started uh, playing so bad all of a sudden? Yeah, we're, we're getting catched up now because we screwed so badly. We're getting catched up by the Blackhawks. Uh, can we just... Can we clinch the President's Trophy, please? Can we not mess up? Like, seriously, that's, uh, there's no reason as to why we should be having a troubling time when the entire season we were doing good. They were still the best goal scoring team, the best defensive team as well. So the 5-on-5 five five is not a problem. Power play either. Is it the penalty kill? Penalty kill, I don't know. It's actually doing fine, I think. Yeah, I don't know why we're losing. I actually legit don't know why we're losing. Our penalty kill is doing fine. Yeah, I, don't, I have no clue, boys. It's a mystery to me right now. A big mystery to me. Let me see really quick. Is there a particular reason as to why this is that way? It's going that way? I don't see any problems in my 5-on-5, five five, boys. My 5-on-5 five five is doing fantastic. I don't see any reasons whatsoever as to why we're struggling. Uh, Owen Power is definitely going to have a lot more of a weaker season. Uh, a weak season compared to his previous ones. And uh, I guess it's not really paying off to play uh, with someone like Parents. I don't know, boys. Kind of weird. But uh, is it the goaltender's fault? Like, is it Campbell? No, because Campbell's playing on top of his mind as well. Yeah, I don't know what the problem is, boys. There's a problem somewhere, but I can't figure it out. <laughs> it's not in the strategies. It's not in the 5-on-5. Five five, it's not anywhere. My team's playing great, so I don't know what what, what, the, what was the problem. It must have been just like a fluke or something. Or 10-3 to 3 loss against the Tala Stars. Where did that come from? Okay, there's another regulation loss in a row. Against Montreal, we're going to win it, though. All right, so it seems like we're doing a little bit better now. We're looking a little bit more like our old team, like the team we're supposed to be. So there's that, I guess. Now, now that's good. Uh, that's some new news. Uh, we win against the Ottawa Senators. Can we win against the... Uh, yeah, there we go. Against the Philadelphia Flyers. Boston Bruins, or we're going to end up losing against them. I don't even know. Are we going to be able to actually... We got three games remaining. Can we win all three of those games and get to the 60 wins? That would be that would be great to have a 60 win season up against uh, Pittsburgh. I guess it's not going to happen, boys. End up losing against Pittsburgh. There's a win against Toronto in the last game against Columbus. We win it. Okay. So when we finished off the season with 59 wins. Pretty decent. Uh, really good, actually. Did we clinch it? Did we get it? Yes, we got it. Yeah, yeah, we got it. So we got the for the second year in a row, boys. The President's Trophy is ours. So uh, we ended up having a bit of a tougher time at the last 20, uh, 20 games. But we did all right anyways. Uh, we clinched it a little bit towards the end. So we're going to take a look really quick at who was the worst team of the league and who was the best. Obviously, we were the best. Let me look at the entire league. So yeah, we were obviously the best team of the league once more. The Chicago Blackhawks, not far behind us. They started to pop up at the end right there. Uh, same thing for the Blackhawks. The, the Wild with Ovechkin now on their team uh, did really good. If we, uh, I'm curious to see who's going to be the worst team over here. And it's going to be Seattle Krakens, really. So the Krakens are the worst team of the league. Uh, Pittsburgh Penguins are doing uh, did a little bit better this time around. Uh, with uh, the complete rebuild with their brand new uh, player that they drafted last year. But uh, they still struggled a little bit. Okay. And the, the the New York Rangers, they made the playoffs, didn't they? Yeah, they made the playoffs. So it's not going to be a good draft pick. It's going to be maybe in the 20, 20 pick or something. Depending on how far they get, uh, it might be a, a bad trade. Uh, well, not a bad trade, but not a good draft pick for us, really. Okay, so Mekinen was uh, f finished up as our best score. This time around, he did end up in the 50 goals. So 51 goals for Mekinen. Really good, boys. 
Uh, for the point-wise, he's the best player as well. 113 points, 98 points for Pasternak, uh, 82 points for Liney. Now, Liney, you know, he played the entire year pretty much with us on the first line with uh, with Pasternak and Mekanen. Somehow he struggled to get some points, so that's kind of interesting. That's the kind of player that uh, is uh, kind of weak. Then I don't know, boys. It's kind of a weak season a little bit. It, it's acceptable, but a weak one. Uh, Marner, 81 points in 82 games played. Acceptable, but weak as well. And Kuznetsa, 78 points in 82 games played. Especially uh, this guy, especially after he, he got the 113 points last year. Kind of disappointing a little bit, boys. But, you know, we'll, we'll, take, uh, we'll take the high value, the overalls. I'll just take those. It doesn't matter if they produce or not. Uh, Keller, Rentonen. Darlene, now Keller, how many points last year? Yeah, so the previous years he was doing really good. I think the second line wasn't producing as much as I wanted them to. Uh, Darlene did have a did end up having a pretty good season, actually a better one than last year. So that's uh, that's a good thing. That's a really good thing. Uh, Chitrin had a really good season as well. Olafson on the fourth line, unfortunately, had twenty six points. He dropped big time, but that's to be understanding. I mean, he's uh, played the entire season on the fourth line, so couldn't do much. Owen Power, this time around, only finished up. Now, he did get injured. He missed out on like seven games or something. But he still like only got 17 points. So, uh, even then, it would have been too much. Uh, I think uh, it's on par with his two first seasons. His third, his third season, uh, which was the previous year, was by far his best. Kind of a disappointing season. Disappointing season for Owen Power right here, boys. Didn't do too much for us. Uh, Pirons with 12 points. Ended up had... It's his best season of his career. So he had his best season of his career so far. Good for him. And Lazarev on his debut season. 10 points, boys. Good. And Apple by... Well, he got 10 points as well. What about uh, goalie-wise? 49 wins for Jack Campbell. At uh, 913 uh, saving percentage, pretty good for Campbell. He could have the Vizina trophy. I'm not too sure if that's going to be the case or not. We're about to find out. Uh, we're going to go for the entire league. The best score of the entire league, boys. Jack Eichel, 58 goals. So for the first time in, uh, in a long time, uh, Ovechkin got dethroned for the goals. But he was right behind, though, with 55 Got traded away, boys. I don't know why Washington did that, but they got rid of the second best goal scorer. So 55 goals for Mr. Ovechkin right here. Uh, below the points. Points below the, uh, the amount of games, though. I think this was definitely his last season. Uh, this is definitely going to be his last season for sure, right? How many years? Uh, did it, yeah, that was the last year of contract. He's, he's retiring, boys. He's retiring for sure. Uh, he did actually pretty decent with the uh, Minnesota Wild as well. So he, he's gonna if he retires, he's gonna end up with a thousand and fifty-one goals, boys, in his career, which is fantastic. It really is. And Kucherov, uh, a fifty-four, Matthews fifty-four, uh, Atanovic fifty-three goals. This is definitely a goal scorer. Yeah, big time goal scorer for the Detroit uh, Red Wings. Uh, Detroit Red Wings. Uh, Kent Johnson fifty-two goals as well. And Mekanen in there fifty-one. So a lot of big time scores this year. 113 points of so the best score player of the league this year was Mekinen. Uh, Eichel, 106 points. Drysaddle, 105. 101 for McDavid. Uh, Matthews, Pasternak, DeBrincat, uh, Johnson, and pa uh, Patrick Kane were the, uh, le uh, the rest of the bunch that were the best team, the best of the league. Uh, John Carlson, once more, is the best defenseman of the league, boys. He's now at 936 points in his career. He's gonna get to the thousand goal, uh, the thousand points if he continues. I don't know if he's gonna retire soon or whatnot. This is last year of contract with the Capitals as well. I don't know if he's gonna retire or not, but uh, he shouldn't because he's getting in there. He's almost in the thousand points for a defenseman. That's really good. Uh, Theodore Hughes, Klimbert, Wenrinsky, Darlene, Eggblad, Petriangelo, and Riley, Morgan Riley that uh, uh, are the best defensemen goalie wise. Campbell is definitely going to get the President the Vezina Trophy for second time in a row, boys. I'm pretty sure. Uh, 49 wins. He's got the most wins by far. 
And uh, Portillo, which is his main competition, uh, got 41 wins. He's got a higher va saving percentage, but a lot less uh, wins. So I think um, I, I, I think Campbell's got this in the, uh, in the bag, boys. And for the rookie of the year, uh, McMichael. Connor McMichael, boys. Top si medium top six player. Ended up uh, at 25 years of age. That's a that's a, a really old rookie, really old one. Uh, ended up being their best one though. Interesting. All right, that's pretty much that, boys. I kind of want to uh, want to see though because I I know where he is. I want to see Crosby. What did he do? Well, Crosby got traded away probably. Then I miss out on something. But well, I don't know where Crosby ended up, boys, but he's not in Colorado anymore. So I, may, I probably missed out on that. I was caught up with the Ovechkin trade. All right, then. Let's see who we're going to be facing in the first round this year. Hopefully, we're going to be able to go far. It's up, going to be up against the Islanders. Let's take a look at um, their lineup really quick. Maybe we're going to find... Uh, maybe, uh, maybe they're going to be a good team. I'm not too sure. Uh, so we got we're up against Savoy, Barzell, and Radulov in the first line. Really, an 80 overall Radulov? Sure, I guess. Uh, Beauvillier, Nielsen, and Wallstrom, Lee, uh, Lee Pajot, O'Connor, Slavin, Koviola, and Stenlon, boys. And Slavin. Okay, so yeah, not not really any, anything particular, not anything crazy. We got a better offense. And a lot better of the defense. Yeah, we got much better defense. They've got nothing on defense, boys. Nothing at all. Uh, Goalie-wise, they've got a decent goalie in Sorokin. But nothing that we can't beat. So, yeah, we've got them beat. This is definitely a team we can defeat now. So, let's not make any mistakes. Let's jump right into it. Um, I don't think we should be having any problems against them. If we have a problem, that's uh, literally because EA decides that is the case. Because um, we've got much better team. A better offense, better defense, better goaltending. we got everything on top of them. So, it's a pretty even game so far though. Uh, an even amount of shots somehow. I don't know how we're allowing more as many shots as them when we have a much better defense. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, come on, guys. There we go. Mekinen is going to be the first one to score on this uh, uh, on this first round. Can we get more goals on our side, please? We should be able to destroy them. They don't have any defense. They probably have a lot of two-way forwards on their four forward line then. Uh, Barzell is going to score very late on the um, second period. Oh, there we go. Patrick Line answering back, finally. Power play. Power play goal for Renton. And there we go. My big guns. Uh, showing up, boys. Mekinen, Liney, and Rentonen twice. Uh, Rentonen's second goal of the uh, uh, of the game right here. There we go. That's my big guns showing up, boys. Darlene scoring a goal. Yeah, there we go. All my big players. Genzel scoring a goal. There we go. Now exploded. Liney, a second goal of the game. Fantastic. This is what I wanted to see. This is what I expected. I was kind of worried at the beginning because I didn't see anybody really produce too much. Kind of took a while before we started to explode as Lazarev, after his first game in the playoffs ever, he's going to get injured. Okay. We'll take Bryson, uh, put it in there, I guess. And uh, we're going to just go straight away. We're going to go for the second game. We're not going to mess around, boys. We uh, have this in hand big time. We don't have anything to worry about. This, game, this team is not scaring me at all. Power play goal for Johnson on our side. Yeah, the New York Islanders, they don't have a, they don't stand a chance against us. Bryson, there we go, coming in clutch for us as a depth uh, uh, replacement for uh, Lazarev right now. So, yeah, really good. I mean, they shouldn't be able to even touch us. There we go, Rentonen. There's a goal for him. That's his third goal of the playoffs right here. So, yeah, we're doing really good. This team is not scary at all. So, very much... Uh, uh, an easy team for us to face off against in the first round. Rentonen, power play goal once more for him. That's his fourth, uh, second of the game, fourth in the playoff, boys. Rentonen is our best scorer right now. And uh, that's the second period. Let's go right into the third period. We are dominating. Slavin's going to score for them. Pulak answer back as well. Back-to-back -back goals for them. Uh, come on, guys. Don't let him do a comeback like that. All right, we got this in hand. Penalty kill. 
We're actually doing really good on a penalty kill, which is something I like to see. Uh, Stenlund's gonna score a goal. Okay, can we cl shut it down, please? Like, seriously now? All right, there we go. Marner, empty net goal. F finish it off. All right. That's what I want to see, man. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what happened at the end there. Apple Buy got injured as well. What, what's with my my third pair getting injured now? Okay, so both Apple Buy and Lazarev are injured. Uh, I guess we're going to have to pick from the minors uh, another defenseman, boys. We're getting a lot of hit by injuries in the minors uh, in the playoffs here. Uh, who do we want to pick up right here? Who are we going to give the chance to play in the playoffs? Laxanen should be playing, I think. Uh, yeah, Laxanen or Ao. Both of them are the best available options right now. Um, Sebastian Ao. We're going to put Sebastian Ao uh, over here. He seems like the best option. So let's put him in there uh, in the uh, third pair for now. Don't know how long there are these, my two defensemen, La Lazarev and Appleby, are going to be injured for. But hopefully it's not going to be for too long. As we're going to have to replace uh, Ao with uh, another defenseman. So let's just replace him with Pete. And uh, we're just going to get um, the best defenseman available. Get uh, Jolson in there. And Pete, uh, Pete, I guess we're going to have to get somebody in there uh, for the shootout. Just get Pete in there, I guess. He, uh, he is replacing. Let's just put him in there. And uh, that's pretty much it, boys. So, so far, so good. We got a little bit of time to relax. Hopefully, my defensemen are going to be ready to play. Probably not. It doesn't seem like. Um, interesting to see who we're going to be facing in the second round right here. The Toronto Maple Leafs are going to be our, fa uh, our rivals in the second round. As you can see, the Rangers up against the Colorado, uh, Colorado Ave uh, Hurricanes. And remember the Rangers, we gave them a lot of our ancient player, uh, our pro uh, of our players. We gave them Skinner along the side of Lindholm, uh, two other players as well. We gave them four players. If that comes back to bite me in the ass, that's not going to be a good news, uh, good news, boys. And I forgot who won the cup last year. I think it was the Oilers, right? I think the Oilers ended up winning the cup or something. So I, I'm pretty. It was a Canadian team, but I'm not too sure who won it last time. Uh, let's just take a look at the Toronto Maple Leafs uh, team real quick. The Toronto Maple Leafs have Burakovsky, Matthews, and Nylander on the first line. Bunting, Tavares, and Morozov, which is like a, a small prospect for them. Cahoon, Hayes, and Benson. Mar Marchment, and, uh, Kolstrom, and Rupsa. So they have no real offense aside from Matthews. And then they're all going to be wrong. They're going to score goals. If I know, there's something I know is Matthews scores a lot of goals in the simulation of the playoffs. Um, for the defense, Riley. And after that, it's pretty much nothing. They've got nothing. Uh, Goalie-wise, Saro says the main goaltender. Okay, it's a good goaltender though. They got a good goaltender, no real defense, no real offense. It's kind of a weird situation though because they have Matthews, they have O'Reilly. So I'm not too sure what to think of this. I'm not too sure if this is good news for us or bad news. I'm not too, too sure what to think of this, boys. It might go sideways. Uh, Patrick Line is going to score a goal for us. There we go. Uh, let's just hope for the best. Let's hope the simulation goes on our side. Because I'm not too sure what to expect out of a team like the Toronto Maple Leafs. They only have like that one stud defenseman and goal uh, and in the uh, center, and they don't have any other team. Like they don't the the team itself. They don't have any team. So I don't know what to expect out of this, boys. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to say the least. Penalty kill. We kill it off. So we're killing off the penalties. That's one thing that I like about this uh, this time around. Is we're killing off a lot of the penalties. We're doing really good on that side of the spectrum. So at, at least uh, that's a good uh, thing. We are getting outshoot at big time. We're getting outplayed. Twice the amount of shots for Toronto. So Campbell is playing out of his mind. Not going to be enough though. Yeah, Matthews and Riley both are going to score. This is what I'm kind of worried about. Is I don't know what to expect out of a team like that. Matthews and O'Reilly could be enough for them to just eliminate us. Which is kind of a scary thought, boys. Just two players doing the, the, the job. Uh, Marner, though. 
uh, did score for us, play, uh, scored against his old team. So Marner, yeah, it's time for you to um, to show up because it's your you're up against your old team right here. Show up, uh, show them that uh, that you're in the best team right here. That um, that your former team was garbage. Show them. As Larkin's gonna score for us, that might be might be our game-winning goal right here, and it is gonna be. So we win three to two. Gotting out shoot it. I'll play big time in this game though. So it's kind of a scary thought, really. We're getting outplayed. We did win though. And Apple Pie is back. Finally. Uh not the case for Lazarev. Not yet though. He's not fully ready. Alright, so he's back on his original lineup. Everything's good, boys. Um we're gonna hopefully Lazarev's gonna be back uh, just in time. Uh hopefully we defeated Toronto we defeat Toronto and we can get Lazarev, our whole roster, uh, back up together into uh, when it comes time to the third round. Let's just defeat Toronto here and right now. Let's not give up a power play goal to Matthews. There we go. Line is going to answer back up. Penalty kill once again. All right, we're taking penalty kills. Once your fingers refer, Toronto can score on a power play. They, did demonstrate it, they have demonstrated it already with Matthews being, uh, having two power play goals. But Rantanen is going to score a goal for us. If we can just have our big guns scoring goals for us all the time and uh, being behind all of that. There we go. Power play goal for Mekinen. Uh We should be all right. We've got plenty of big time uh, players. If one of them decides to not play, there's plenty of other options on our team that can uh, do the deed. So, yeah, so far so good as Nylander is going to um, score a goal on Campbell. It's a uh, scary thought so far. The only players that scored goals against us are the big ones. Nylander, Riley, and Matthews. This is what I'm talking about. Johnson, power play goal. Our power play is working. Penalty kills doing great. Yeah, we're doing good in the uh, special teams, boys. Which is uh, what you need. Or you need your... Uh, in times like these, this is what you need. Johnson, a second goal for the game. You need uh, your team to have a good special team. Especially for... Uh, the playoff simulation it goes very uh, it's very it very goes hand in hand if you want to uh, go further into the playoff so there it is Johnson clutching it up for us and we end up sweeping the uh, Toronto Maple Leafs off the second round as well so for a st third uh, third year in a row boys we end up going to the third round now are we finally going to be able to get past the third round as I already know who we're going to be facing, we're facing against the Rangers, boys. This is probably going to come back to bite me in the ass. Uh, the fact that I traded away all these players. Hopefully not. Hopefully the, the game doesn't do that to me. As we are going to just uh, put Lazarev back. We got finally a full roster to face off against the Rangers. So here it is. Last record of regular season 1-7 and 2, boys. It's going to be a real run. Let's see. Well, we already f know four of these players that are for uh, playing for these uh, for the uh, for the Rangers. Let's see if we're gonna get past them. Uh, Panarid, Zibanejad, and Ma uh, Mata. There's one of our old players, boys, right there. Uh, Lafreniere, Carlson, and uh, Atkinson. Tuck, another one of our old players, with uh, Dano and Yurov. We are uh, you have being a big time prospect for them. I'm not sure why they're not playing on the first line. That's kind of uh, that's kind of weird of them to do that. Uh, Kratsov, Chittle, and Palmieri. So they've got a decent in-depth team. They got a good defensive team. It looks like, and they've got these uh, veterans that they gave them, give uh, gifted to them. So Miller, Longvist. Lindgren Fox on the second pair. This is kind of weird. They're playing their best players on... They're not playing them on the first lines, boys. With Lindholm. There we go. There it is. And Truba, boys. And goalie-wise, Shishturkin. They got a good team. They have a good team. So, uh, not too sure how this is going to go. Hopefully, this is going to go on our side. And the game is not going to screw us over. Um, Carlson right off the bat. First shot, first goal. For uh, for Carlson and the New York Rangers, but Pasternak is gonna answer back with a goal of our own. Good. Oh boy, that was starting to be scary. Oh boy, Atkinson scoring a goal for them. Yeah, this is gonna be a scary one because they got a really they got a defensive team off the wazoo. 
They're not playing their best players on the first line and the second, uh, the first pair. So yeah, power play goal for Lafreniere. So follow up our second power play goal, third power play goal. Oh great, it's it's a five minute penalty, boys. Great, a five minute penalty. Why not? The game's pretty much over. The game's pretty much over. Let's uh, simulate it, boys. Yeah. Already know a shorthanded goal for Dano as well. Wow, wow. That was great. Shorthanded goal as well. They popped up, boys. Three power play goals and a shorthanded goal for the New York Rangers. Great. It's going to happen again. I, I swear I can't get past the third round. I cannot. And this time around, we're going to get eliminated by the fucking Rangers. The one team that I ended up trading four players at. Like I traded four players to them. <laughs> These players are going to laugh at my face now because I traded them away. We're going on out. We're modifying this shit. Hopefully this is going to go on our side. I'm scared. It is a New York Rangers. Mata's coming against us. This son of a bitch. Second goal by Mata. Okay. Alright, I see how it is. Yay. Okay, yeah. Alright, dude. Fine. Fine, I'll take it. I'll take it. This will teach me to literally trade away players to to teams in my division or uh, the same the same play uh, the same uh, cons conference. It will teach me to do that, boys. Of course, I shouldn't have done that. Son of a bitch, boys. There we go. Power play goal by Kuznetsov. Oh, penalty kill. They're scoring on the power play. Carlson, stop taking penalties. They're scoring at will on the power play, man. Will you learn? Fuck. They're just scoring at will on the power play on us. And then they just... Now, this is fucking ridiculous. Power play goal for us. Kuznetsov once again. This is crazy. What the hell are we doing here? All right. A seventh goal for... Car oh, okay. All right. There we go. Johnson's going to score goal for us. Mekinen power play goal for us. There it is. Uh, we're going to jump on in. See if we can help out. There we go. Darlene, uh, uh, a fifth goal. All right. Stop it right there. Stop it right there. Seven to five. This is our chance. We can save ourselves. This is going to be a long video, but I don't care. We can save ourselves, boys. We're going to try and do it. Some all right, boys. Ten minutes left into the third period. The this is here. all or nothing. We're two goals away from tying it up. Swoops Let's do this, boys. We got this. Let's tie it up. And Put save our own deep. asses against New the team York's that the uh, gave out. us their first round. Now it's it, it, we're gonna zone. see here who made the best trade, who had the best trade. Texas Whoever gets shot. to the first uh, the Stanley up. Cup playoffs, uh, the Stanley Cup uh, the Stanley the Cup board, uh, finals is gonna have the best trade away. in the uh, uh, in the, the at least in the sh uh, overall Stand really because low. they've got Three the four the veterans. Check. And I've got myself a fourth, uh, first round pick, so we'll danger. see, though. All right, you guys, four check, four check, big time. There you go. Move go ahead, go ahead, Mekinen. You're straight in, buddy. You're straight in. Go Thanks ahead. Oh, that's and that's going to be a save by Allmark. Okay, the get the second the line in here. Uh, we're going to get this. Get this to keep so you the first impressive. pair. Among this is going to be rough, boys. This is going to be rough, big time. Can we get ourselves a goal right here? Chitrin. And that's going to be saved by Shesterkin. They just uh, changed their goalies once again, somehow. I hate when the game does that. It just switch goalies out of nowhere. Whatever, boys. Okay, let's uh, let's do this shit, right? Let's get this. Yeah, win the puck. There we go. Shesterkin again. And uh, that's going to be another save by Shesterkin. Can't do anything, boys. We're getting those shots in, but this is uh, a bit too late. <laughs> too little, too late, I hope. Uh, I think. Oh, and uh, we're, we're winning face-offs, but all of a sudden, we're not really anymore. Kuznetsov. There we go. Shoot it. Oh, my God. We almost had it. There we go. You got it. There we go. Get a shot in there. Pasternak. Pasternak, get it. Get a shot. Yo, Shesterkin's playing on top of his mind, boys. He's playing on top of his mind. We are trying our best right here with what we got. Uh, we're going to get the uh, get the third pair in there. Get the third pair. Uh, they're going to let them shoot it, right? Yeah. Campbell's going to have to stop that. We're going to have to... Oh, this is bad. This is bad. I'm going for the third line, boys, but uh, it's a bit too late. We already know we're eliminated for the third time in a row. I am getting screwed by EA big time. Okay, let's go, boys. Get the puck. Get the puck. 
There we go. Get the puck right here. Come on, come on, come on. No. Okay, alright. Okay, whatever, boys. Get the puck right here. I can't, like, I, I'm doing the screenshot thing. This is not what I meant to do. I'm trying to, okay, I'm trying to pull out the fucking goaltender. It, it won't let me do it. Whatever, boys. Okay, let's go. Keller up to Apple Buy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. You got this. Apple Buy up to middle stat. And that's going to be a rebound go a goal by Marner. Marner scoring a rebound goal. All right. That's what I'm talking about. First, we need the first line. First pair, first line right now. All right, Mitch Marner is, did give us a chance right here to survive, but we need one more goal. It's uh, it's crazy. All right, okay, well, we're gonna lose the puck right here. Go 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 go! Son of a bitch! Go get the puck! Oh, it's too late. It's 14 seconds left. It's too late. The, the, yeah, the AI is too too retarded to uh, to uh, to pinch right uh, right now. Okay, yeah, just go back into your own zone at four seconds left when you're trailing the playoffs. You fucking retard, darling. Oh my god. I'm winning it all, and I had literally the best team in the league right here. I had the best team in the league. Like, there's nothing I can do more. I don't know what to do with this fucking game. This game is rigged big time. You get the best players on your team, you get eliminated anyways. It doesn't matter.